and welcome to our Energy Connect studio at the Canadian Hydrogen Convention 2023. I'm thrilled to have sitting next to me in the studio Mark Clanondom, Executive Director, Alberta Industrial Heartland Association. Mark, thank you so much for joining me. Hi Julian, nice to see you today. Great to have you down, Mark, on this thank busy you. day at the Hydrogen Convention Centre. Yeah, one, wonderful convention so far. We've had a lot of great conversations, a lot of great content, and it's, it's, been, a, it's been a great show so far. Super. Now, to start off, could you tell me a bit more about what Alberta's Industrial Heartland Association does and what you're involved in around hydrogen? Sure, ha happy to do that. So Alberta's Industrial Heartland Association, we represent five municipalities. City of Edmonton, City of Fort Saskatchewan, Strathcona, Sturgeon and Lamont counties. We also have three associate members, the towns of Gibbons, Redwater and Bruderheim. But each of these municipalities, of the main member municipalities, have land in a jurisdiction called Alberta's Industrial Heartland. And this is a industrial cluster. It is Canada's largest hydrocarbon processing region. And it sits in the northeast corner of the Edmonton metropolitan region, which is one of the reasons we're here today. And so our association, what we do is we largely are involved in investment attraction and working with companies when they're looking at their next large scale value add energy investment. We want them to consider Alberta's industrial heartland as a jurisdiction for their capital. And this is where hydrogen plays a role here. You know, There's tremendous carbon capture and sequestration capability in the industrial heartland, and that's how all this plays into the low cost, low carbon hydrogen that everybody's talking about here at this conference. Thanks for explaining that, Mark. And could you maybe go in a bit about you know, what competitive advantage you offer for energy investment? Absolutely. And obviously I think the key is to get energy investment yeah. in, into the area. Yes, happy to do so. So, so Alberta's Industrial Heartland is really uh, uh, a world leading jurisdiction for you know, value add energy investments. There's a number of competitive advantages. The first and main competitive advantage is the low cost abundant feedstock that's available here in this jurisdiction. So there is centuries of natural gas feedstocks available in this region, and that natural gas is at a significant discount throughout North America. So it is cheaper than the Gulf Coast. If you take the last sort of five years of natural gas prices, we are in the order of 35 to 40 percent cheaper than if you put a plant on the, on the Gulf Coast. And so when your main operating cost is natural gas, having a 35 to 40 percent discount on your natural gas feedstocks is a tremendous competitive advantage. So that's the main one. And then secondly, when it comes to producing low carbon products, having the geology, pore space, infrastructure capability here for carbon capture sequestration, you've got that sort of one-two punch of low cost feedstock, carbon capture sequestration capability that enables companies to produce some of the lowest cost low carbon hydrogen in the world would be here in this jurisdiction. And then, it's a number of other advantages, access to fresh water, lots of yep. flat industrial zone land, skilled workforce, connectivity with respect to rail, you can access the west coast, east coast, gulf coast, um, post-secondary institutions in this region, like a number of um, competitive advantages that come with the industrial cluster that's here. But the main sort of two that we're talking about at a conference like this would be that access to low cost natural gas and that carbon capture sequestration capability. Yeah, and I mean obviously everyone's talking about you know hydrogen potential and different hydrogen pathways um, and you've just touched on a bit but I want to hear more about what hydrogen opportunities you feel you offer. Right. Yes, yeah, so, so the industrial heartland right now is an industrial cluster that has around 45 billion dollars of industrial assets operating right now and as I said it is Canada's largest hydrocarbon processing region. So there is an industrial cluster here already. So when, when industries are looking at decarbonization initiatives, one pathway is utilization of hydrogen and carbon capture sequestration. So there's potential for a market right here in the industrial heartland when the current industries are looking at their decarbonization efforts. So that's one opportunity. Second opportunity, of course, is the opportunities that are talked about at this conference around transportation, potentially, especially around the class eight large scale commercial trucks, you know, 15,000 kilogram trucks. As that market continues to grow, that's a potential demand market for us. But I think right off the top, the initial industrial demand is where a lot of the hydrogen production would go, I think. That's really interesting to hear, Mark. And uh, the other side of it is, is what do you offer or what opportunities also do you see for the growth in the clean energy side of things? Obviously talk about hydrogen, but there are other elements. Well, certainly. So, 
What, what, I, I mean, I, I still consider, you know, the energy, the hydrogen that's coming off of using uh, natural gas and carbon capture sequestration as clean energy. But if you're talking about some other examples like um, solar farms, for example, for the production of electricity. So there are projects in the industrial heartland. Where there are solar farms being built um, to provide either electricity into the grid or to provide electricity to the industrial facilities here as they look to decarbonize their uh, facilities. So that that's happening here in the heartland. There's um, a number of supports at the federal, provincial, and municipal levels for a variety of projects here in the industrial heartland that adds to the competitive advantages here. And we're here in Edmonton. Um, so what's Edmonton doing uh, about attracting, I know you say in the different regions, all the hydrogen industry, and it, you know, a conference like this, looking at the future of hydrogen, how important is it to have it here in Edmonton? Well, certainly. So first of all, Edmonton is a member of Alberta's Industrial Heartland Association, but also Edmonton and ourselves, AIHA, and others are part of what's called the Edmonton Region Hydrogen Hub. So Edmonton Global's a, a, a partner of ours in the Edmonton Region Hydrogen Hub, along with the Transition Accelerator, provincial and federal governments. And that is a collaborative effort to try to build these value chains and pathways and demand for hydrogen. So I think there's a natural fit here between the low cost, low carbon hydrogen production that could happen and is happening out in the industrial heartland and then the growing demand sinks that we expect to happen here in the Edmonton metropolitan region. So there's a great partnership in this region and I think tremendous opportunity and lots of excitement as you can tell here at this conference. Absolutely and just before we go, um, it sounds like you've got, you're quite optimistic about the opportunities around hydrogen and what it could bring to the Canadian economy. Certainly, I mean you know, we really see Alberta's industrial heartland as a, as a, a, a very competitive location for capital investment, foreign capital investment. Companies look all over the world to put their next project. We think the industrial heartland is a good location for those projects, given those competitive advantages that I talked about. The excitement globally around low cost, low carbon energy sources, and we think we're well positioned to meet the demand from global sources right here in Alberta. Well, Mark, I really appreciate you coming down to the studio and telling us about all the opportunities. Um, sounds exciting. And, um, yeah, just thank you for giving me your time. It's very nice talking to you this morning, Julian. Thank you. Thanks, everyone, for watching. I'll bring you more interviews from the studio show floor through the coming days.